I'm Greg, a sailor, bagpiper, and jack of all trades. Uh, another day down here in the shop. I'm heading outside shortly to continue the repairs on the decks. Well, I'm back in my sweatsuit and I'm going to go back out um, all of the filler has kicked. Uh, the motorboat is all sanded down and paint, and I've painted the repair job with topside paint. So that's ready to hit the water. It's all dried, washed the boat out, started the engine again just to make sure it starts. Um, now I'm just going to sand down the three repairs on the deck and see if I need any more filler. I think I do need a little more filler on the starboard aft repair. But I think the starboard forward and the port side repairs are all good. And, you know, now we'll just fair them out and get ready to sand and paint the decks. We'll see. Holy mackerel, these suits get hot. Just have water dripping down me. Oh, now my legs everywhere, because they are hot and sticky. But it beats the alternative of being cool and extremely itchy of all the fiberglass dust. <laughs> well, that's funny. As I was complaining about how hot I was, the GoPro shut itself off because it was too hot. Being out there in the hot sun, I guess it didn't like that. So I'm gonna mix up another batch of epoxy and some fairing compound and go out and put another coat of fairing on. You can see as I'm sanding there are still some little depressions. The light color as you're sanding off and you can see the darker depressions where there's still a little low spots. So one more coat, at least maybe two. We'll see. I don't know if you could tell, but there were some areas that I was trying to do. That didn't completely cure yet. When it's completely cured, I can just break the epoxy right off of my squeegee. I wonder if I have another one. I do. I have a bigger one. And if you just bend it a little bit, it cracks the epoxy. You can hear it crackling, but it's not. There we go. So the um, the epoxy with the fairing compound sands fairly easily. I don't know if you could see, but there were some dots of just straight epoxy from the initial patching um, and the layup that I did. And those dots of straight epoxy are so hard to sand. 
Um, I was trying to be less aggressive and I was only using 120 grit um, because I didn't want to burn through all the fairing compound. But, you know, I maybe should have gone to 80 or 100 grit. Scraping all the sides down. Uh, it's fairly runny, but I think that would be fine. And now we'll head out and do some more fairing. So you can see that this is the high spot. This is the low spot. A longer squeegee is nice because it'll span it and go from this point to that point it'll squeegee right across and I can see that there's a low spot here all right well I'm done you can keep working at it forever but it looks like there's a little blow here that will have to come back I've made a little bit of a ridge here, but that'll sand off. Um, so, yeah, this is not the final. This one looks a lot better. Only a few little low spots. I think we're pretty good there. No, this is not going to be the final. Well, that does look pretty darn good. But I do see a little sag here, so I think there's a little more that we'll have to do. Maybe only one more, well, we'll see. So thank you for watching today's video. Um, please hit the like button uh, if you've enjoyed the content and don't forget to subscribe so that you get automatic updates when the next video is coming out. So thank you for watching the work that I'm doing on the sailing vessel Slow Air.